let's get into the transfer portal stuff and let's get firing right away. Let's talk about Curtis Rourke. Uh, the what do they call him? The Maple Cannon or the gosh, I forget. He's anyway, he's from Canada. He's a stud. He's played at Ohio Bobcats for several years now. Last year, he had a very, very good season. We got hurt at the end of it. Very unfortunate. And this year, he came back. Didn't really look exactly the same. Something was wrong there. Tim Alban is a great coach. You know, they ended up winning their bowl game there, and they still, they went, what, seven and six this year? Which is still pretty good. They I'm had a chance. Let me double check that. Maybe it's, if they went seven and five, and then they finished eight and five. So they finished. Oh, 10 no, no. Three. No, they finished 10 and three because they, they went nine and three in the regular season. That's right. Yeah. Gosh. How soon we forget Tim Alvin winning a bowl game with Parker Navarro at quarterback, making him look like a stud. But anyways, Curtis Rourke is a really good player. He commits to Indiana. What do we know about Indiana? Well, Tom Allen gets let go, bought out for $20 million, which is a lot for Indiana. And Kurt Signetti brings in Curtis Work. Here's the thing. Indiana also offered Jordan McLeod, who is Kurt Signetti's former quarterback, at James Madison, who I thought was really effective and a really good player. So I think the fact that Kurt Signetti is taking Curtis Work over Jordan McLeod, maybe Jordan McLeod didn't want to follow Kurt Signetti, and that's fine. But that gives me hope. That gives me hope. I think uh, I think Curtis Work is a very, very fine player, and I think he can do well at Indiana and a team that, you know, they're not going to necessarily make it to bowl games, right? But Depending on how the rest of this transfer portal cycle goes, now they lost a lot of offensive linemen. But I think Curtis Work can maybe move some mountains himself. That would be pretty awesome. So I'm I'm excited to watch him play in the Big Ten, up a level of football. But yeah, to say it'll be easy would be not accurate. <laughs> it, it will not be easy for him at all at Indiana. But I'm excited. What about you? No, I, I really like this. I've, I've kind of talked myself into liking this more than I think I thought I was going to. I think a lot of us remember this year's version of Curtis Work, who has come off an injury, and he, he still played good. He graded out actually pretty darn well, and they won a lot of football games, but that defense was really, really good. It just defense didn't feel the same so good. as it was a year ago, uh, as it was in 2022, where he was just a baller. He was a Mac Offensive Player of the Year, 3,200 yards, 25 touchdowns, only four INTs, right? But he's played a lot of football, right? And I, th I think he will look closer to that 2022 version under a guy like Kirk Signetti and Tino uh, Tino Sinceri, right? Uh, two guys that are pretty darn good at, at developing quarterbacks and putting them in good spots. Not only that, but you also, Indiana brings in Curtis Rourke, but surrounding him with a lot of talent, actually. Donovan McCulley, a guy that was originally going to go in the portal, decided to withdraw from him. He's their star, star wide receiver. Trenton Howden. Same thing. He's coming back. Justice Ellison's the guy they bring back at running back or bring over from Wake Forest, right? At running back that comes in. And then they got three wide receivers in the transfer portal. Yeah. I like a lot. How about Miles Price? Price? Stud, right? Miles Cross, another Miles there. Teammates with Ohio or teammates at Ohio with Curtis Work, right? One of his favorite targets. And then Wake Forest wide receiver Keyshawn Williams. Like, it's a pretty darn good room offensively. Now they got to figure out a line. And, and we'll really see what happens. Really got to figure out a line. line. Carter Smith it, back like, is nice, but yeah. yeah. It, Should lose what, Zach Carpenter. I don't know. I mean, it, it'll, it'll be an interesting offensive line. We'll see what Kurt Signetti has up his sleeve and uh, the rest of the stuff there. But look, if Mike Shanahan, is he going to be their offensive coordinator? They said he was, right? Mike Shanahan can figure some stuff out. Uh, he doesn't need an amazing offensive line to get stuff going there. So I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited for this. I think... Uh, he was a big guy that I, I bought a lot of shares of in college fantasy football this year. Didn't pan out the way that I wanted it to necessarily. But the point stands to where I, I believe in him a lot and I believe in his talent that he can go into a program like this and potentially succeed. But again, I'll reiterate this as many times as I need to. It is going to be difficult. Indiana is not an easy program to win at. right? Kurt Signetti or not. Tom Allen or not, Michael Penix or not, Curtis Rourke or not, it is a tough place to win. But then no longer do they play in the Big Ten East. However, they bring in, I mean, four schools from the Pac-12 that are consistent perennial winners. 
that you're gonna have to end but up drawing. Significantly more talent than Indiana. I do my I do think though this this is a good fit for Curtis Rourke, the player, because you surround yourself with a good nucleus of coaching, right? Kirk Signetti, Mike Shanahan, and Tino Sinisiri are three very, very well respected guys in quarterback development and offensive minds, right? Like this is a big time move for him. He mentioned part of the reason when wants to go is because of their pro style offense. They pitched him, and because like him wanting to go to the NFL after this year, he's he'll be draft eligible. Well, he's draft eligible already. He's actually this is his last year of eligibility, but he wants to make that jump. And I think this is a good spot for him to develop and to showcase that against elite competition, and hopefully giving him a surrounding that he can actually compete with. Maple Tron. Is that what they call it? No, that's what they call it. Chase Claypool. Gosh, someone <laughs> please tell me what Curtis Work's nickname is. Please. I need to know it. I need to know it.